What would you do if you went to your therapist's office and she told you to stop whining? Love it. Some therapists are using tough love techniques during their sessions to bring patients back down to reality and get to the root of the problem. But does it work? Joining us is psychotherapist Julie Hanks. Good morning to you, Julie. Good morning. Does tough love work? And how do you dispense with it? <laughs> it does. It does work. People are paying therapists and paying me to help them change, not to just listen to the same complaints over and over again. But Julie, see, here's what I found really interesting about what you do. You say you sometimes challenge your patients to go an entire session without talking about their pet issues, such as their mother or their spouse. What else is there to talk about in therapy? <laughs> well, I do let them talk about those those complaints, but there's a there comes a point where I say, okay, enough. We've got to get really to the root of what's going on because generally, uh, what people present with in therapy is not the core issue. So, exactly wherein lies the difference between normal therapy, things you need to get off your back, your problems, and whining? Where do you draw the line? <laughs> Well, the difference between whining and good therapy is good therapy helps you really get to the core emotion and, and what's really going on underneath the surface. And there's this stereotype that, that therapy is just letting people go on and on complaining. That's not what it's about. We want to get people to understand what the root of their problems are and then actually make some change, not just talk about the negative things in their life. So no, don't complain, just really do the hard work. So obviously even people outside of therapy could use some tips to stop whining. I mean, you think it's become a bit of an epidemic. So let's talk about your yes. tips. The first thing you say is ask for feedback. What does that mean? Yeah, so if you wonder, do I whine? Ask your close friends and family. They will tell you. They'll be relieved that you're asking. <laughs> They'll tell you, yes, you do whine. You're too negative. Knock it off. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, set wine time. So there is a time that you allow it or you encourage it? Yes. So in a session, I may say, okay, you have five minutes. Let's talk about that topic, you know, your boss or your ex wife or whoever it is and then we're going to move on from that because that's really not the issue and you can do that in your real life too you can say okay i'm going to give myself 10 minutes to wine and then i'm done with it oh see and then the next thing you say is keep certain topics off limit and then the last one you say is ask yourself what do i really want in terms of the off limit it's i guess if you're stuck in a rut and you're always complaining about your spouse just stop just ma take that off the table Yes. Say you're going to lunch with a friend. Say, okay, I am not going to talk about my spouse and how annoyed I am with X, Y, and Z. Just say, promise yourself and see if you can do it. Challenge yourself to not whine about that pet topic. All right. More information, juliehanks.com. I like it. No more whining, people. Okay, let's try to do it for the next uh, two and a half hours. We got a couch right here. We'll, right. we'll start right here with you, Julie. Thank you. Thanks, Julie.